Today, I'm going to show you a super easy way to send commands to your Raspberry Pi using Home Assistant. The easiest way is go to this GitHub link. I'll have it in the description below as well. Click on Code. Click on Download Zip. Once you unzip the file, go ahead and try to find this SSH folder within that zip file. Go into your Configuration folder of Home Assistant. Go into Custom Components. And then copy that SSH folder over into Home Assistant. When all is said and done, this is what yours should look like. Now go into your Home Assistant, click on Settings, go down to Integrations, click on Add Integrations, and search for SSH Command. Bam, there it is. It's done. Next, hit Close. Next, let's test the SSH command, shall we? On the left hand side, I have Putty open up, and you can see that I'm already logged in as Pi. In Home Assistant, go ahead and go into the Developers tool on the left hand side, and then go up to the Services tab. Go ahead and find Service of SSH command colon execute command. The host will be the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, the pass will be the password of your Raspberry Pi. And of course, don't forget to check the user, which for me is Pi. It will be a simple command of sudo reboot. By the way, I'm not actually using a Raspberry Pi. I'm using a Libra Lip Potato because obviously we can't find any Raspberry Pi in stock. So be sure you have host, user, pass, and of course the command, and click on call service. On the left hand side, you can see that my putty instantly disconnected it because this command works. It sends the reboot command to the Lip potato, and that's why the um, machine instantly rebooted and kicking us off from Putty. All right, so now we know that SSH command works. Let's set up an automation. Click on Settings, go down to Devices and Services. Click on that. On the top, click on Helpers. We're going to create a button. Myself, this button will activate as a shutdown button. Once in a while, I just need to shut down the Libra Lip Potato for maintenance reasons. And obviously, I don't want to just pull the plug because doing a hard shutdown, it will uh, mess up the micro SD card. So this button will let me soft shut down the Lip Potato. Name it whatever you want and click on the icon if you want. Click on Create. Here are some of my devices. I'm going to create another button just for that shutdown button. Click on Edit, go down, add another entity, which will be my Libra Power button. Click on Save, click on Done. And here you can see that it's acting is just a button. So if I press on it, something will happen. Right now, obviously, it doesn't do anything because I haven't set it up yet. Now we just need to set up the automation for that button. So go ahead and go into Settings. Automations, create automation. I already created automation and this is what it looks like, but for you, it will be blank. So go ahead and click on Add Trigger, States. Your entity will be with the button that you created. Mine is already created, so it's called Libra Power. Click on it. For all these fields, you can just leave it blank because for a button, you don't care what it changes from to what. You just care that it was pressed. The condition can be just blank. Go down to actions. Your action will be calling this service. The service will be SSH command, execute command. Checkbox these host, user, and pass. The host will be the IP address of your machine, the user, and the password of that user. And here it is. The command for me to shut down the Libra potato is this, sudo shutdown dash capital H space now. That way, when we press the button, it will shut down the Libra Lip potato properly. All right, hopefully you found this video tutorial helpful. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.